Okay, it's time for some tough love, friends. It's no secret our country is in a mess. We have record debt and there's no proposed solution. It is spiralling out of control every day and the next generation is going to suffer more than we can imagine under the crippling weight of it. Our social fabric is being torn apart over this same-sex marriage debate. Civility and respect for diversity and differences of opinion has been thrown under the bus as foul-mouthed bullies spend all their energy trying to silence reasoned discussion. Immigration, it's unsustainable and in some cases downright dangerous. Sharia courts and Sharia practices such as child abuse in underage marriages, female genital mutilation, illegal backyard Sharia courts that oppress women and terrorism is all on the rise. We once had a strong conservative government during the Howard years with a massive surplus, strong border control and a healthy, robust social fabric. Since then, we have suffered under the self-serving, backstabbing, self-promoting, reality-removed leaders of both major parties who have undermined each other, hijacked the Prime Ministership for personal gain and screwed this country into the ground with a huge deficit, this carbon tax nonsense, general tax increases and out-of-control politically correct immigration. They have created a social Marxist education system, given rise to gender dysphoria, decimated our defence force and emergency services with ridiculous sexist and religious quotas, and now they've mishandled this same-sex marriage fiasco to a level where the aggression and bullying of opposing views is out of control. And who is to blame? Well, it's tempting to say it's the government or bureaucracy, the left and especially the media. But you know who has to take a great deal of the responsibility? It's us. It's the Conservatives. The silent majority. The silent majority who have been too complacent and too silent for too long. You know, generally Conservatives are polite. We keep to ourselves. We're the kind of Aussies who work hard, pay our taxes, raise strong families, engage in volunteering for the community and enjoy a pretty laid-back lifestyle. Most conservatives are too busy to be activists and generally believe the best about others. Conservatives take their responsibilities seriously when it comes to voting, but very few have time to get politically engaged because, well, normally we're all too busy actually contributing to society instead of being welfare dependent whingers. But it seems this is the case to our detriment. It's time for Conservatives, the so-called silent majority, to step up and let our voices be heard. The media have been greatly complicit in silencing our voices, but we have to say no more. We've seen it overseas with Trump and Brexit. Conservatives who are sick and tired of being trampled on, bullied, harassed and threatened because they believe, we believe, in strong families, civil responsibility, limited government and free enterprise. You know, we can no longer sit around the barbie with a beer and complain. Wishing for the good old days just won't measure up anymore. We must get organised and we must get active. Sorry, but you have no right to whinge if you're not prepared to do something about it. Living in this free and democratic nation is a privilege that too many of us take for granted. There are so many totalitarian and socialist style governments around the world where citizens simply do not get the opportunity to affect the process at all. But it's not so here in the West. We can make a difference. I urge you to join Australian Conservatives. Our founder and leader, Senator Cory Bernardi, has a proven track record of over a decade in public life. He has been a strong advocate for conservative values and principles every step of the way. He is not a career politician who changes his mind like the wind for his own personal gain. He has always championed free speech, strong families, civility, free enterprise, and he has stood firm in the face of political correctness. He doesn't choose what is necessarily the easy or popular way, but what is right and what is best for our nation. He has been writing about Islam and making speeches long before others found it profitable to do so. 
He has taken measured and effective steps in Parliament to address the issue of halal certification, the burqa, immigration and other concerning issues. Corey has highlighted the inadequacy of our immigration programs. He's been vocal about climate change, energy issues, the sanctity of life, marriage and family, even when it's not been popular to do so. Australian Conservatives is a home for anyone who values these principles. There are many opportunities to get involved and really make a difference along the way. I want to encourage you to join me and make a decision today to step up and take responsibility for the mess we are in. You can play an integral part in reviving and promoting conservative pr principles in this nation. Do it for your sake, for your peace of mind and for the future of your kids and grandkids who will inherit this mess if we don't intervene right now.